Like, I just, I've never even. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I, I'm not gonna call her that. Like I, you know, I'm not gonna say that. But what I will say is that she always does this, always, and it just never ends with her. You know. I'm ready for a drink. You're ready. Let's go. I'm ready for a drink. It's stinky though. Really? <laughs> yeah. Right. I really need a drink actually. <laughs> so, anyways, like I was saying, so we're standing here, Fernando and I, you know, with these potential buyers. And Margaret comes up and starts to bargain for his art. And, uh, baby, did you want a whiskey? Uh, beer. Okay, beer it is. So it was really awkward because we're sitting there and Fernando is literally on the cusp of making this sale. And, you know, I don't care how long you've known each other, you know, you should know better than that. I mean, she's somewhat of an artist. I mean, she's a dancer, but, you know, she should, really should know better. Anyways, babe, so it's just something so utterly, like, predictable on Margaret's part. You know, it's just, and she's just driving me insane. I just don't really know about it anymore, but I'm just going to forget about it, I guess. Thank you. Oh, and you know what? We didn't even see Catherine at the party. Like, what the, where the heck was Catherine the whole night? <laughs> So, uh, who is this, uh, Amalia? Hello? You alright? Uh, Amalia was, was last year's model of the year, dear, and she was such a superstar. She was everywhere. She had campaigns, she was on billboards, and I mean, I would see her around all the time. We had the same agent, and I would see her at castings and at gigs, but she, we were not friends, dear. She did not like me for whatever reasons, which is fine because she was not very nice. One night after an award show, she was headed home, and police think that she was abducted from her apartment, and she, you know, she lived alone. Anyways, um, a couple weeks later, her car was found somewhere completely remote, and her body was inside, incinerated. And whoever did this, took her teeth. Uh, anyways, all this really has me on edge, and I think that I'm just, it's just time to hire a bodyguard, and I think I'd feel a lot safer. <laughs>
baby pigs. I need to get changed, say lover. And then I'll be right back, I promise. <laughs> Get this for you in uh, Asia. Mm -hmm. Give it some. Come to grips with your big piece over there, huh? <laughs> baby, I gotta tell you something. Oh, yeah, what's that, baby? I have a foot fungus. Oh, babe, that is so not sexy. I know, I got it in Asia, I think. Are you gonna grab a lotion or cream? Maybe get a prescription for that or something? Yeah, when I go back. I'm gonna go to one of those stores on every corner that has, like, the lanterns and... The frogs in the jars and shit. 
By the way, I have to stop by the bank on the way to the airport. Hey, that actually reminded me. I've had so much money in my purse all night long. I, I'm so happy we left when we did. I never had this kind of cash on me. This is crazy. What, you gonna buy me a new liver or something? <laughs> maybe you liver, maybe some hydrocortisone cream. Huh? Oh, you do love me, baby. Oh, I do. Come over here and show me how much. Oh, I don't know if I want to get close to that. I do not want that foot fungus. What are you talking about? You have to go to Asia to get it. Uh-uh. Are you tripping? Is that what you said last night? Come play with me. Come on. Come rub it for me. Oh, God. Ha <laughs> <laughs>